Google.org. Google Impact Challenge Disabilities presents. Judy Human. Growing up, we would talk about the American dream and work hard, study hard, and you could move forward. But if you had a disability, working hard and study hard didn't really mean you'd get anything. Tia Nellis. I went and applied for a daycare job to be a teacher's assistant. The teachers liked me, and then they found out that I had been in special ed, and all of a sudden the job was no longer available. Tom Harkin. My older brother uh, became deaf at a young age. I think he was maybe six years old. His life was circumscribed by people saying, well, you're deaf, so you can't do this, you can't do that. They told him he could be one of three things. He could be a baker, a shoe cobbler, or a printer's assistant. He said, I don't want to be any of that. They said, OK, now you're a baker. A photo of Ed Roberts, Zona Roberts, Ed's mother. Ed just had a, a way of inspiring people to be what they needed to be. But he was a scared kid going off to college. It was just this terrifying idea, they're all going to look at me. And then he realized they could look at him, and he could be a star. Of course, it opened the doors to people who had kids with disabilities. Judy Human. I wanted to be a teacher. My written, oral, and medical exam all were given in inaccessible buildings. And my friends carried me up and down the steps. And then I was failed on my medical exam because I couldn't walk. And I really couldn't let it drop. Friends of mine and I decided that what we would do is we would set up this group. Kathy Martinez. I got a flyer in Braille, which I'd never received before. It said something like, fight for your civil rights. That was really the beginning of advocacy. I never knew that there was such thing as, you know, being proud of being a disabled person. It was everybody really beginning to demand respect and the right to be able to do with their life what other people do and don't have to think about. Tom Harkin. This one person said to me one day, you know, we got left out. I said, left out of what? He said, the Civil Rights Act. You can't discriminate against uh, people of color or women or sex or national origin, but disability, perfectly legal. I became aware then of a movement to have a broad civil rights bill to cover all people with disabilities. We had this wonderful point in time when we had the President of the United States strongly in back of it. We will not tolerate discrimination in America. I now lift my pen to sign this Americans with Disability Act and say, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. The biggest impact of ADA has been the change in the physical environment. Everything from curd cups to widened doors to seating in theaters. Buses are accessible. It means that people can actually get to their job. There's consciousness around accessible restrooms and hotel room doors. It has spawned a whole bunch of new technology. Portable respirators came out. Motorized wheelchairs came out. Claudia Gordon. Technology has transformed the lives of deaf individuals like myself. Patrick Kennedy. For those with intellectual developmental disabilities, technology is what allows them to participate. TNL. People with disabilities can work and can be a part of their community. Tatiana McFadden. You're seeing people with physical disabilities actually coming out to play high school sports. I gained a real understanding of the ADA and what it symbolized. We have the right to do everything and anything that we want, and it's because of the ADA. If my brother were alive today, I think now he would think that more people like him have a better shape, more fair shape. Celebrating 25 years of the Americans with Disabilities Act. She.co forward slash disabilities and hashtag ADA25. Happy 25th years of ADA. <laughs>